Naam alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. So as you can see, um, this is what we encounter sometimes when we go to so many places to dig a wall. As you can see, come and show them inside. Come and let me show them. You see that? As you can see how it dig. But in this way, we cannot get the water. Because the, I mean, let show me here. Very better. In this way, we cannot get a water. Why? Because there is a stone on the ground. So the reason why I'm doing this video, a lot of people goes to so many places to dig a well. Not everywhere you can get a water. The water is from God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So wherever you go and dig, sometimes we cannot get a water. So we have to do what? Change a location. As this one is for somebody who uh, donated this, but they try, we cannot get water. Now we have to change the location. As you can see, there is no way you can get water. I just did this to show to people, this is what we encounter sometimes when we go to a lot of villages in order for us to what? To get them proper drinking water to drink. Because this area, they have a problem with the water. Uh, water. So that is uh, why we are here. In some villages, a lot, there is a stone in the ground. You can, there is no way you can get the water. Sometimes we dig up to one, two, three places. And the problem is the person who donated it, he has already given you the money for you to do it. So if even you cannot get water, that is your own problem. No matter what, you have to go to any place to get that person water. And the problem is you cannot come to the, per the donor to tell the donor that, please, we cannot get water, so give me some money. No, that is your own responsibility. You take the responsibility out of you, and you have to provide that, pro that responsibility. As if you could see this one, this is for somebody, but we cannot get water. But it's not going to be free because that person already did his work. We have to pay him and we have to change the location to get the water for that person. That is why a lot of people sometimes call me. They want me to, they want to show me the location they need for the what, for the project. I don't take location from you. I take location from where I go. I go to so many. Uh, we have 60 regions in Ghana. All the 60 regions in Ghana, Alhamdulillah, Peace Our Media, we were able to what? To cover all the 60 regions in Ghana. So we know which area there is no water, which area they have a stone, which area they have a this. We know the people who are in. As you can see, there is no way we can get uh, water. So you can come out, my friend. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so now, what we are going to do is we have to cover it back because we don't want to leave it like this for the person, uh, to, for, the, for the kids to fall in it. So what we will do is they have to also take the sand and put it back and cover it nicely because other than that, they have some animals here, kids, they can fall. Okay, let me show them. Now we couldn't find the water here. We change the location. We switch up to this area. Now, in this area, this is another, another hole that we started yesterday. Since yesterday, right? Yeah. So now we started a new one. So the new one we started now, I think the way I see the ground, it look like yeah. here there is a, Inshallah, there is yeah. going to be a water. So the only thing that you have to do is um, always pray for us to get the water wherever we go to. Sometimes we use a local manual. This is a local manual. We use a borehole, which is a mechanized borehole. We take a lot of places. We take a machine, borehole machine, to dig a well. Wallahi, so much Allahi. Even the borehole machine cannot break the what? The stones. And we have to come out dry. And when we come out dry, they don't care. They don't care. The borehole company, you have to pay for the borehole company. So that is why sometimes, the reason why I'm doing this is a lot of people call. They said, okay, I, I have a location. Can you go to my location and do it? I say, no, I don't do anybody's location. 
I want to choose the, my own location where I know the people are in need. We are not just doing the water project for anybody, but rather doing it for people who are what? In need. In need. There are a lot of people in, in the city. They call always. They need a borehole. But I always dodge it. I don't want to give it to them because they are not in need. When you go to the suburb area in Ghana, all the 16 regions, I have covered all the system regions. This coming is among of the last regions that are having covered. That is from uh, from Volga, Navrongo, Tongo, uh, Zabila, from all the way down to Boko, and then all the way down to Burkina, the border of Burkina, uh, uh, Paga. So we have covered the 60 regions of Ghana. There is no region in Ghana that we have not been so we know what we are talking about we know a certain area you are going there to to do what to come out dry it is also expensive when someone want to donate the manual or bowl for their family so we encourage people to do this as a sadakat for their family you have a father mother brothers sisters husband wife they passed away. This is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Provide water to people. Let them drink. The, the, uh, the reward will go to your what? Your loved ones in their grave. Alhamdulillah, so many people each day call me. Even last night, there's one brother, Abu Zaid from Germany. He just sent his for his own father. When you do for your, your, pair, your family, someone also, your kids also do it for you when you pass away. Water is most very, very important, especially in West Africa. That is why the Peace Dawa Media, we want to cover all the most part of West Africa. Now we cover a little bit in Nigeria. We went to Burkina Faso now to see what we can do up there. We're going to move to Niger. We move to the suburb, inshallah, slowly by slowly. And all the regions in Ghana here, there is no region in Ghana. On the other 60 region in Ghana, that we have not provided a water to the what to the less privileged, to the those who are in need. So I'm encouraging you to support us, to put us in your prayers, to push us in order to get this. As you can see, sometimes you all see the photos, videos I've been sharing how people are drinking disease and contaminated with disease water. This can, uh, what do you call it, uh, the kids can be affected by waterborne disease. That is why we encourage the government to also try its best to support us. The government can, if the government can give me a contract for the system region in order to provide water, I'm telling you, we will be 80% less in Ghana to provide water because we are going to work. We are pushing, we are trying our best. We know people who are in need. We know the areas. May God bless our Sheikh, uh, what is Sheikh, um, Muxid Bafi. He was the one who tells me, Yo, you know what? Go to the villages, leave the city. Without him, I will still be in the city, knowing that the people in the village are in need more than the people in the city. That is the main reason why people don't see me nowadays in the city. The city don't need nothing. It's just talk, 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 talk in the city. But go to the villages. That is where you see the Ni'ima that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with. As you can see, this is how we dig. Take a picture with me together. This is how we dig. So they will go on to this until we find our water. And then they start, the water started flowing and we do the concrete and everything for the kids and everyone to have a good clean water. There's a lot of villages in Ghana. They don't even have pipe lane, pipe. There's no pipe lane. Where can they get water? And water is essential. Without a water, we can never survive in this world. You use the water for washing. You use the water for bathing. You use the water for hudu. You use the water for cooking. You use the water for drinking. You use the water for everything. They say blood is thicker than water. But you cannot live without the water. You cannot live without the water. So I'm encouraging you. This is how it goes. This is how they did.
A lot of people don't know how they suffer into this. You see the borehole too, it's the same thing. We have a mechanized borehole, local manual. In a lot of area, we cannot do a mechanized borehole because they don't have access to light. If they don't have access to light, we cannot do a mechanized borehole for them. And also, even if they have a light, there are some people in area where they cannot even afford the electricity. If you put them the borehole, it's also a problem. So, inshallah, this is the main reason why I'm doing this video for you to see how when we go to the villages. Now we, are, we have switched to this area. This is the, the first one we couldn't get the water. We're going to close it. This is the second one they are going to do it. Wasbahanakallahumma bi'amdik. Ashahadu Allah ilaha illa anta. Nastafuruka wa atubu ulay. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammadin wa sallim. The peace of our media.